So today I'm gonna go through how I got text and images to run on the panel. So the first step is to take this cable and screw it into these two connectors. Now, uh, the bad news is I don't think it came with any screws. Uh, the good news is I have a box of a variety of different screws. Now, I was thinking this would be a big problem because the thing is collapsed in and they're all mixed together. It turns out these are all the same screw. Now, here comes the problem. Uh, I have no idea what this size screw is. Turns out it's M3. <laughs> so, just by pure luck, we have a box of screws that will fit. Okay, next we take this um, and we plug it right into here, maybe. There we go. Nice. What we need to do is because we're using a 64 by 64 LED matrix panel, is we need to solder a glob from E8 onto this middle E right here. And I believe that en enables a an additional address line. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but it says that we need to do it. So let's do it real fast. And there we go. Not too bad, not great, not terrible. Now this next part is kind of guesswork, but it says to make sure the arrows are pointing up and to the right. Uh, my board looks a little different from theirs, um, but it says in. This definitely says out. Let's see, you can't tell because it's blurry. There you go, out one. And so I think this is in one. So I'm going to uh, plug it in and hope for the best. Okay, the next step is doing some programming. So I, I don't have uh, Circuit Pi installed, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And to do it, you basically just install the Mu. Uh, editor, and then you'll go into CircuitPython. Okay, the next step is I'm going to connect my board to the computer. I have no idea what's going to happen when I do it, but I guess let's find out. One second. Uh, well, oh, that's cool. I guess it has a program pre-installed. Is it? Oh, that's cool. Now that we have it connected, uh, we are going to, this new pixel is off, so we need to double click this reset button carefully then it should turn green. If it turns red, we didn't click it fast enough or we have a bad USB cable. Okay, so this matrix boot should show up. Uh, and then it says to drag this, uh, U, was it UFT? Yeah, UF2, it says to drag it onto this folder then to copy it over. Now I obtained that file on the Adafruit website. Um, but once you do it, it should go away and then come back and then you should see this. Okay, so what you wanna do is copy over the code from the Python portal learn stats um, example and it'll say circuit Python 8.x. You wanna copy all the, the, the lib and the code.py and the um, font into the other, uh, onto your actual board. Make sure uh, that you also unzip this IBM Plex Mono Medium. Make sure you unzip that zip file so it's just a .bdf. Once you've copied it over, you'll want to create um, in the actual mu editor or wherever a secrets.py. This secrets.py will feature a SSID, um, uh, your Wi-Fi password, uh, and then an AIO username and password uh, or key, I guess. Um, so that way it can obtain the time from ioadafruit.com. Now you don't have to do it this way to get the time, um, but this is just how they do it in the example. Now the documentation seems a little out of date. So I've discovered up here on the right, if you click this yellow key icon, you'll be able to get your code. So once you click it, it'll pop up here and then you, that's where you get the code to paste into the um, Python file, the secrets.py. Then once you save it, you should see this come up. So I think this 1117 is for something. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but then you'll see text scrolling by. 
Okay, so I'm making progress, but there appears to be this big black gap uh, throughout my text. So I'm thinking the issue might be that this solder joint uh, is bad because if I take my multimeter out and if I, okay, I can't just one hand, but if I was to touch this solder joint with this pad, it beeps. So I'm going to go back and see if I can maybe slightly fix that. Okay, this no longer beeps. So let's give this a shot. So it took a little bit of Googling, um, but it turns out that uh, you need this 64 e width equals 64, height equals 64 instead of Matrix Pro in order to get this working correctly. And now it does. So if you're having a problem with that, um, make sure you watch out for that. It's not written anywhere. Just literally it's like some random guy on the Adafruit forum somewhere was like, hey, I'm having this problem. And then he replies to himself, let's see, from 2020, three points, replies to himself, never mind, make sure you set with height equals 64. So, well, I'm glad it's working though. And here we go, it says science after hour. So how I did it was, um, what you have to do is basically just set text color, and then you specify your color in the form of a hex. Uh, and then you just set your text. The most important things at the very bottom, um, you have this time.sleep or you have some kind of infinite for loop um, because if the program ends, then it just goes back to its default um, position, it seems. So once you have those two things from there, you just can kind of go for it. Uh, now, I'm not sure how to set the position of the text once you actually add this kind of text block I guess maybe you're just supposed to throw the screen away. I'm still doing some more investigation, but to actually add text um, from the example above you that they have up there, you just have your text font. You can set a scale. Um, in this case, I set a scale of two. Um, you can set the position. This is the uh, X position along horizontally. This is the Y position vertically. Um, once again, the color, and then you can have a default uh, text as well. And there's other things as well. You can set the scrolling, you can have an anchor point, um, etc. What I did for the time being to get um, images to draw on the panel is just doing matrix pro dot set background. And then you just pass it a BMP, which you just copy over into the actual disk. So that's how I'm doing right now. Then I have like a time to sleep and then I just reset the background. I'm sure there are way better ways to do it, but I'm having a hard time kind of finding those right now. Um, but I'm hoping we can do some more investigation here soon to figure out some better ways of drawing images.